Hello everyone, I've got to walk through on how to beat Dead of Night on Brutal Difficulty while using Vorzen. For Master Skill Points, we're going to be using it Power Set 1, Dark Pylon Range, Power Set 2, Shadow Guard Duration, Power Set 3, Chrono Boost Efficiency. And we're going to be playing with a random player. The units we're going to be using are Dark Templar, and then we're also going to mix in the Corsairs. And hopefully we can just absolutely destroy the enemy. Alright, we found a Mastery Level 114 Nova Player. Robo Master. Okay, I'm gonna start creating some probes, get the economy strong, and uh, get our orbital simulators up, and then away we go. This planet is in serious trouble. If this infestation spreads, there won't be any survivors. We need to stop it. It's risky to move at night, but the infested. Okay, and we're gonna invest in the early gas income so we will be spending minerals to get all these orbital simulators up right away okay and then we'll keep on pumping out more probes here early investment we're doing oh and we're playing with the nova again so same deal with her uh the automated refineries which works great okay and now we need to get a pylon down I blocked myself already. Officially have done it from the very beginning of the game. <laughs> okay, and we'll just keep on queuing up these probes. We've got two pylons coming in just because I don't want to get supply blocked again right away. I'm gonna throw down a gateway. And try to build a bit of a wall here. Just so that infested don't come straight into our base. Okay, we're gonna put a pylon right there. Dark, deploy a dark pylon. We already have a ton of gas income, which is great. Okay, we're gonna throw down another gateway right there and put a pylon right there. Okay, now the infested can sneak through this little gap right there. I'll take care of that next. Okay, we're gonna throw down a cybernetics core. Night's almost here. I'd start getting ready to deal with the infested if I were you. Okay, set up a hockey here. Hockey three, and I'm gonna set up some. I need to get a forge quick. I'm gonna set up some photon cannons in the cloaking field to do some work for us. It's okay, I'll commanders. get a centurion out. Fight off the infested until daybreak. Another centurion out. Okay, we're instantly gonna get our Twilight Council down because we want those Dark Templar as soon as possible. Beware of those chokers. They'll stun and kill your forces after pulling them in. Can they save the marines? Oh wow, can't save the marines. Okay, get two more probes out here. And I'm gonna need some of those shadow cannons. They're actually photon cannons, but shadow cannons because they're hidden. Okay, can't completely surround this dark pylon, otherwise the cloaking field will go away, and so will, yeah, it'll just turn into a basic pylon, so can't completely surround it, but you can do pretty close to that. Just leave a little gap. Okay, we'll go ahead and throw another cloaking field down here around all of his base and SCVs. Our teammates base and SCVs. Okay, we're gonna throw down our Dark Shrine. And we're gonna get re Warp Gate researched. Get this into a hotkey. We'll get Ground Weapons level one. And I really do love being able to get multiple upgrades at the same time while playing as Vorzen, so I'm gonna throw down three Forge. So we get all those upgrades right away. Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna throw down some more gateways. Got two free probes to move around now. Okay, and I'm gonna throw down a Stargate because we're gonna need to get Corsairs as well. Okay, we'll get armor level one. We're gonna Chrono boost this forge and we'll get shields level one, throw all these guys in the same hockey. Okay, we'll, we'll be safe turn these into warp in gates. Daytime. That choker's getting annoying. Okay, we'll get Dark Templar out here. Another one out. Try to take out this choker. Oh boy. How many can they grab? Okay, there we go. Dark Templar survived. Good. We made it to the dawn. To stop the okay, we're going to create a ton absolute ton of these gateways. So I'm going to throw down more pylons around here. Yeah, we're going to throw down another dark pylon on our base as well. Okay, time for us to do work. The wonders of modern technology. I've got visual on enemy protons. Okay, get ground weapons level 2. And I'm not going to get the Corsairs out quite yet because I don't have disruption web ability out so they're not going to be much benefit to me. They can attack air units but yeah I don't I'm really getting them for the disruption web ability. Sending you the coordinates for more get that structures. probe out of there. Okay. Alright now we're going to get some upgrades for our Dark Templar. Get Shadow Fury first. Always get that one first. We're going to Chrono Boost that one out. Then we'll get Void Stasis and then Blink. They got this hybrid. You guys do so much damage. And with Cloak Leap units, uh, at level 15 you unlock the ability to gain, I believe it's 15% increased damage for Cloaked units. So, yeah, not only do they already do good damage, but if they're Cloaked, which they are by default, they're going to do even more. So it's crazy good. Detecting more structures at this location. Okay, we'll get armor level 2. Here, I like these guys on Hockey 0 actually. Put that on Hockey 9. This on Hockey 8. There we go. Okay, now I can use my Hockeys. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch more of these gateways slash warp gates going. Deploy our Shadow Guard out here. I am sensing cloak units. Two can play this game. Yeah, we'll I gotta get this guy out of here. Another day is coming to an end. Okay, I want to make sure this guy stays alive. Oh, they have detection of us. We've got observers, probably. That's probably what it is. All right, let's move back in. Get another shadow cannon up. Okay, we're gonna put him some cloaking on this side. And put a bunch of Folkton cannons down over here. Don't get too bold out there. If our base falls to the infested, this planet will be lost. Okay. Lots of warp gates. And we'll create lots of Dark Templar. Okay, now we're gonna get the upgrades for, from the fleet beacon for our Corsairs. Disruption web, and then we're also going to get self-drive so our Corsairs are permanently cloaked. They'll increase their damage, and, I mean, the, they just won't be seen, so <laughs> it'll be a lot better. Okay, and I am going to get a robotics facility so we can get observers. Never mind, I'm not going to get a robotics facility. I mean, I'm going to get an Oracle, because Oracles are detection while you're playing as Warzone. Okay, we're gonna throw down some more photon cannons over here. Oh, look at that! That's awesome. All the railgun turrets doing work for us. That's really delaying them. That's good. Okay. Now we're gonna pump out some corsairs, and I would like to get some more stargates as well. Here, we'll put another dark pylon right there. Okay. A couple more Stargates, two of those, and another Cybernetics Core. We're gonna get all the upgrades. 
Okay, we'll get ground weapons level 3. And we're going to get an upgrade for the oracles here too. Stasis calibration. Enemies affected by the oracle stasis ward can now be attacked. The A hotkey. The cloaking is so good right now. Okay, we'll get another probe out here. I want some extra probes. Just kind of sitting around to build defenses. Oh, we need some help. Um, black hole time? Yeah, black hole time. That'll slow him down. Oh boy. That was a big wave. We've got time stop available. If we need it. I think we're going to use time stop for this next daylight. So we can do a lot of damage. Okay, we're going to get a bunch of Dark Templar out. And a bunch more Corsairs. Oh, you're all burning. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to take these guys out. Okay, we'll just follow along right there. Okay, we'll get all of you guys into the same hockey. Hockey 4. Okay, that's for Void Rays. Don't need it. Get shields level 3. Armor level 3 in a second. Then I'll get the air upgrades for our Corsairs. Let's see. Corsairs only do... Yeah, 5 damage. No damage at all. Corsairs are not that good. But yeah, that's that's why I always get the upgrades for Corsairs last, except for Disruption Web. Like, I'm talking about armor and weapon damage. Corsairs really are not that good. You can argue with me, but I mean the stats stats show it right there. Five damage. That's it. If you look at Dark Templar's damage, 55. Yeah, you need something to attack air units, so get a lot of Corsairs. But maybe don't worry so much about getting the upgrades for them. Because if you're mainly just like focusing on... I mean, if you're mainly going against ground units... Your only real use of the Corsairs is that Disruption Web ability. So, I mean, you don't have a whole very much use to get the upgrades for the Corsairs. Now, however, if you are going against... If you're going against a lot of air units, then I would advise getting upgrades for the Corsairs. Because, yeah, they don't do very much damage in the first place, so you'll need some more, some more damage, more base damage to actually do more work. Yeah, it all just kind of depends on what you're going against. And just to conclude one more time, it's not that beneficial. Okay, we're going to keep on pumping out more of these Corsairs here. And to spend these extra minerals, instead of getting Centurions, I'm just going to get some extra base defenses up. And we're going to use Time Stop at the end of this. This is incredibly easy, honestly. Oh, and I need Oracles. We need to detect those Observers. Okay, we are going to. Oh, don't even need a black hole because all these, all their detection is getting uh, void stasis. But okay, we'll still get it anyways. Okay, and we're gonna time stop right now and just keep on going. Delay the inevitable as long as we can, so we can do more damage. Okay, more Dark Templar. We'll get you guys over here. Okay, and I want another Dark Pylon over here, actually. Lots of cannons. Okay, and we'll need to get back. So what I'm going to do... Don't kill our Oracle. Okay, beauty of Horizon is you can just uh, recall your units back to a Dark Pylon. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, darn it, and I forgot about that. Okay, I'm actually going to recall him again to this other Dark Pylon over here. We're going to take out this bonus objective quick. Okay. I'm going to warp in a bunch more Pylons. Okay, and we'll take this guy out quick. Okay. Oh, don't kill the Oracle. Oh, these guys are getting slammed. Okay. Alright, now we're going to recall again. Okay, we'll recall using this guy. There we go. Oh, it's so good. It's so strong. Okay, we'll get some more of these guys out here. Where's the weak point? Oh, this is the weak side. Okay, we'll get some help over this side. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll start getting air upgrades here. Okay, do I have hockey set up? No, that'll be hockey eight. Okay, we'll get blank. We don't need any upgrades for our Dark Archons, we're not using them. Okay, we'll get some more Dark Templar out here too. Okay, I think we got that side held off pretty good. Those railguns are super helpful. Railgun turrets. And we're going to push out. Okay, we want... Here, actually, I'll, I'll rally to our units. They're staying alive decently. Okay, yeah, we want... Oh, geez, spotters. Take those guys out. Hello. Here, let's black hole these guys. Are you kidding me? Aemon wants to attack us now too? Perfect. Hey, why aren't these guys like attacking the structures? Hello? Alright, we're gonna move back. Oh, there's a big guy. Let's use Shadow Fury on him. Okay, and run away. Okay, let's get out some more Dark Templar. Okay, we're gonna get back in here. And throw down some more pylons. That's one hell of a healing device. Okay, he's got that side covered. I'm gonna throw down a shadow cannon for him. Okay, and we should be able to finish it up this night. Or day, I mean. <laughs> and we got time stop available again. Good. Ooh, enemy wave. We have lots of defensive turrets in place. Okay, let's get level 2 upgrades here. We'll chrono boost this guy. Need more gas. Need more gas. I think his troops are trapped right there. Here, we'll untrap him. There. There, now he should be able to move his units. Okay, where's... Hey, that's not very nice. Kill that stalker. Come on, guys. Oh jeez, I'm just sitting around not doing anything. I stand ready. All right, there. Let's do this. Okay, now these oracles. I should have been using their uh, stasis ability right here. It's pretty helpful, actually. All right, you guys down here. Okay, we are going to black hole the heck out of these guys. And if we don't make it in time, we've got time stop ready. Okay, let's get a bunch more Dark Templar out. Get some more pylons. Oh, gotta finish this stuff off. Did I get all the upgrades? Yep, all the upgrades from Forge. Level two upgrades here. It's almost night time. Be ready for the infested. All right, there we go. Activate the time stuff. <laughs> That's the last of it. We did it. Safe, Commanders. Okay, so Nova and Borzen make this mission extremely easy. I had a really good teammate for sure. I definitely had a really good teammate. But wow, that was easy. <laughs> uh, I don't... The cloaking is very good on this mission. And then, you know, of course, you don't have to worry about gas. So if anything comes for your mineral line, your orbital assimilators are always going to continue to gather that gas. And you're going to have a lot of gas all the time because you get the gas early. Early investment there. And then Disruption Web disables everything. Dark Templar already do a lot of damage. So yeah, it's good. <laughs> Okay, there's the end game stats for anyone who wants to see. And that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Leave a like if you liked the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.